robot has never been used inside the eye before. It's obviously a very exciting trial for us to be doing. The, the idea of the robot really, at the end of the day, is all about safety. It's about doing an operation with more precision uh, and more control than we normally do with a human hand. Um, we pretty much got to the stage with eye surgery where we can do a lot of operations very efficiently, but there are many more operations which we could potentially do in the future, um, for instance using gene therapy, stem cells. Currently we don't have the technology to deliver the medicines because we don't have the ability to operate inside the eye with such precision. We very much hope that by developing the robot we can enable us to do more clinical trials and develop new treatments in the future. The system is designed to integrate smoothly at the operating table and can easily be included or excluded during surgery. To preserve patient contact at all times, the surgeon continues conventional operation with one hand while operating the system with his other hand. Extremely high precision is achieved by downscaling movements and by filtering out the surgeon's hand tremors. I have a very, very strong opinion that anyone who benefits from the NHS has an obligation to participate in research if asked, in the same way that you have an obligation to show up on appointments on time, donate your organs. It's a two-way thing, and I've been asked to participate in this, and so I respond. Thank you.